For those of you who are not familiar with this, this is a rubber keyboard that can fold up. But we are not going to fold it up because I'm going to show you something. I'm going to control this computer entirely from this keyboard. Let's go to the start menu and we're going to push the letter J Now we just wait a moment. Okay, we're going to keep this in demo mode because I do not have a full license. JAWS stands for Job Access with Speech. It is a screen reader, and a screen reader allows somebody with vision that is not adequate enough for a magnifier. Uh, my vision is adequate enough for a magnifier. But for somebody who doesn't have adequate enough vision for a magnifier, they need this type of technology. I'm going to show you how this works. We're going to go to the Start menu. Start menu so to get to navigate, we'll press the up or down arrow as Jaws suggested. Let's get out of here, and I'm going to push tab, and tab one more time, and we want to go into JAWS, so I'll push enter, and we'll go ahead and push the alt key. So we'll go into options. Okay, so I push the up and down arrow, then to get into the global adjustment, I push the right arrow. To activate this, we'll simply push enter. So Alt M is your shortcut. Let's tab through this. To change the selection, use the arrow keys. We're on a combo box. And for those of you who are not familiar with it, it's one of those boxes that has an arrow next to it with a drop down list. Let's go ahead and push the down arrow. These are the different voices within JAWS. Let's go back up to Eloquence. Eloquence. Tab. Tab. So we can switch it over. British Let's keep it on British English. You can uh, detect any external or internal synthesizers on your system. Because of the design of this computer, there really is no way to have any internal um, synthesizers besides the ones that come preloaded on the sound card that are software. Anything hardware you can forget about, unless it's external. So let's go ahead and decrease that, increase that. Now this um, keyboard is lacking the page up and page down keys, but if it had them and I were to push them, you would see a much more uh, dynamic change in the voice. So let's tab. It's a good thing I found this. I usually like to have it on some. Okay, so we'll tab. So what that means is, if you want to spell something, it will go ahead and change the pitch of the voice. Tab, voice 
Same thing with capitals. If you wanted to announce, if you want to know if it's a capital letter or not, um, that's uh, what announces that. You have a voice change. So that, for example, it will say A for lowercase and A for uppercase. I, that was kind of a stupid impression, but um, let me, let me, let me, um, go through the rest of the menu and we're going to double back around to the voices so I can put it on American English and then we're going to go into Microsoft Word so I can show you a little bit more of this you can save you can save you can save a profile alt F so instead of pushing space we're going to push the shortcut alt F. Now we're going to get out of here by pushing escape. And we're going to push Windows key M to minimize everything. We'll go back into the start menu. Oops. Mm. To get out of an application, you just push Alt plus F4. Now we're going to go back into the Start menu. Okay, I had a feeling it was P, so we'll go ahead and push P. So we're on the all programs, so we'll go ahead and push enter. What we want to do is we want to push M until we get to Microsoft Word. Actually, no, we're going to push um, A for accessories. Okay, I don't know what just happened there. Hang on a moment. We'll just use Microsoft Word. I wanted to use Notepad, but, um, I can't seem to get into the accessory sub-menu for some reason. Now let's wait. So I'll just type in something. Now we're going to capitalize the word test. Watch what happens. I don't know how that happened. This keyboard is a little bit quirky. So uh, I don't know how, how that happened. But uh, we're going to go ahead and push Alt to access our menus. And X. X. Oh, hang on, it was an X or Q. There we go. Because we don't want to save, so I'll push space. And I'm shutting off the computer. That's pretty much all of JAWS. Thank you for watching and have a nice evening.